that great things take many people working together to make them happen is one of the fantastic things of human existence. Not only have we driven the rover, we've removed its arm, put it all through its paces, but it's been in a thermal vacuum chamber and kept very cold. It, parts of it have been in a centrifuge. We've done drop tests, pull tests, drive tests, load tests, stress tests. Um, it's just an amazing amount of testing this vehicle has gone through. We've tried every way of operating at the vehicle using the software, literally thousands and thousands of hours of software testing. It's been just a, an amazing several years, really, of constant testing and development, finding problems, fixing those problems, and going on to the next problem. I, I think she's ready to go. LC, this is the LD on channel one. LC, you have permission to launch. Roger, proceeding with the count. T minus 10, 9, 8. that she's going to go and she's going to be successful, absolutely. It's going to go and she'll be good. We should have parachute deploy around Mach 1.7. Parachute is deployed. We are decelerating. Sea chill step has separated where we found the ground. Standing by for batch shell separation. We are in powered flight. We're at altitude of one kilometer descending. Standing by for sky crane. Sky crane is started. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on fire. <laughs> fantastic demonstration of what our nation and our agency can do. I could only think of the words of Teddy Roosevelt as I was sitting there. It is far better to dare mighty things even though we might fail than to stay in a twilight that knows neither victory nor defeat. And the team brought us victory today. Today, right now, the wheels of curiosity have begun to blaze the trail for human footprints on Mars. This is an amazing achievement. Well, today on Mars, history was made on Earth. The successful landing of Curiosity marks what is really an unprecedented technological tour de force. It will stand as an American point of pride far into the future. We've got a long mission ahead of us, and, and because of that and the capability of this rover, we have this possibility for just monumental science accomplishments. Within two months, the team found an ancient riverbed, evidence of flowing water. We have found a habitable environment that is so benign and supportive of life that probably if this water was around and you had been on the planet, you would have been able to drink it. 